Hey, my super sweet crafty friends, welcome to my channel, Carolina's Creations Unmade. If you're new, please subscribe and click the button down below so you don't miss my videos. And today I want to welcome you to our collaboration. Today, Rosa Kelly from Rosa Kelly Scrapbooking, which is super sweet and talented, and myself are going to be sharing with you two flip books and we're also having two giveaways we're going to each be giving away a 40 dollar gift certificate to a craft store an online craft store of the winner's choice aliexpress is excluded and i'm going to share with you here on the screen right now the rules for the giveaway international subscribers are welcome and remember to follow all the rules so you can participate on both giveaways so I'm going to share with you my flip book and uh, this flip book is not completely decorated because I made this for my friend and she loves Maggie Holmes. She's crazy about Maggie Holmes. She has a lot of the embellishments and all that and I wanted to leave it so she could decorate it, finish decorating it and make it her own. But I wanted to share with you the design I came up with and this is actually a circus tent and is inspired by her carousel, Maggie Holmes carousel paper collection and uh, I was also inspired by my friend Faithy. I saw on her Instagram a post where she made a circus tent flip book too and I wanted to make one myself. So I kind of like drew on the computer how I wanted it to look. I printed that and I cut the pieces and then I used the pieces as a template to cut everything that I needed for my little flip book. I hope you guys like it. I use a lot of the embellishments from the Maggie Holmes chipboard and paper collection and also the enamel embellishments. As you see there are the unicorn, which is super adorable, the carousel one. I made this little pole here, I used pipe cleaner and I placed it at the top to simulate the carousel. And I made this little flagpole I made several embellishments for a collaboration that I had yesterday and if you would like to check it out, I'm going to link it down in the description below and over here on top of the video. So I made this little flagpole and it was my favorite embellishment. Unfortunately, I dropped my little flip book and I had here hanging two beads and they were glass beads so they broke <laughs> and I had to remove it and that was one of my favorite parts of the flagpole. But I think it's still super adorable. So this is the first page. And the first page has the flag, uh, the flagpole. And it has this side of the little flip book. And I really love it. I wish I could leave it so this flagpole didn't have anything underneath. But I had to decorate the uh, other page. But I still think it looks super adorable. So you turn this page like this and I gave this a lot of volume. I actually erased this pink areas here on the roof of the tent. I added this eyelash trim and then I added pipe cleaner over here and I finished it with this little enamel ball from Mickey Holmes. So you turn it like this. Uh, I just love how it looks. And I also wanted to let you know um, this um, flip book, the spines are not uh, hard. They're sort of like accordion style so you can move it easily. And over here I left it like this so she decorates this but this area you open up so this is the back of the top of the circus tent over there and over here I just make it made it into this little like sort of flip. So you flip this down like this and over here she can make a pocket on or decorate it any way she wants to or she can actually place a picture there too so you have space here for one two three four pictures and I just think it turned out super cute and I cannot wait to see how she finishes decorating it so I added here another one of my embellishments and I left the right the rest so she can decorate it any way she wants to and this one is actually a pocket page. So she can place things here in the pocket and this is the other side of the top of my flip book. And this is how I decorated this. I used this one and some other embellishments. I fussy cut this 
from the paper collection and this one says hot air balloon rise I added this little ticket here like circles and all that and I added this as a bucket here so she can place anything she wants in here and I decorated it using some hot air balloons to match this little phrase over here so this page opens to the side like that and then on this side this page I made it into a shaker page so the top is a shaker and it's a tool page uh, pocket so she can place things in here in the pocket like that and then you can see through it because it has the tool finish so I think this is super adorable and then over here on this side I made this little shaker mirror using a die from Sussex and also another one of those little unicorns enamel embellishments and I made a tool ball and uh, if you want to see this embellishment closer then make sure to check out my video I'm going to link it again down on the description and on top here of the screen so all these pages are pocket pages so on this side she cannot place pictures but she can place things in the pockets and then on this area she can use it for pictures I actually was going to place here Polaroid frames so you could slide your pictures in but I decided to just leave it like that so she can decorate it and make it her own so on this page this is these are all pocket pages and I just made a paper rosette a crepe crepe paper rosette and I added here a chipboard sticker from the carousel paper line so again on the back I left it blank so she can place pictures or decorate it anywhere she wants to any way she wants to and over here I added another one of my embellishment and this one is a Polaroid frame embellishment it has this little butterfly the pinwheel and I made this crepe paper rosette it has this little quote out here from the Willow Lane paper collection that says my darling and again they're all pocket pages so that you can place anything inside and you can add pictures on the back and I left it mostly uh, sort of like blank <laughs> So she can decorate it if she'd like to. On this page, I made a shaker. And this one is a Polaroid frame that I made. And it's a shaker also. I cut this out from the paper, this little zebra. The flowers are from Maggie Holmes sticker sheets. And I made this little embellishment here to put in there. And again, this is another pocket so this is my last side page and I made this little paper rosette I die cut this little swan from a Sussex die and I actually colored it to match the carousel swan as you can see here it kind of matches it and I think it turned out super super cute so let me show you the last page is actually a big pocket and this one you can use to place pictures and again I wanted to place Polaroid frames all over the sides of the pictures so she could place it, uh, pictures of her own but I decided to just leave it like that for her to decorate it you could put two Polaroid frames here and this page flips down actually and is a double pocket page and it's really big pockets so you can place here a lot of pictures mementos or if you use it for happy mail you can make uh, place their embellishments stickers ephemera a lot of different things and I'm going to show you here how it flips down like that so this is another page that you can use for pictures on this side and then over here you can place two more pictures this is another flip down page and there's a double pocket page too I wanted to give her as much space as I could for my flip book and again over here you can place pictures or anything you want and this is the back of the flip book and this is actually another pocket so she can place things in there and pictures over here and I think this turned out super super cute and the way I wanted to finish it was I actually was going to open a hole all the way through all these pages and then I wanted to put an eyelet here and then make like a trim to decorate the top and then that way I would keep these pages close so I'm going to sell that 
to her as an idea in case she wants to do it but I decided to leave it this way and let her do whatever she wants with it so I hope you guys like my super cute little flip book and then let me know in the description below how you like it and then remember to follow up all the rules that I posted earlier in the video and go check out Rosa Kelly's um, video. I'm sure that she's going to share something super amazing. She is the queen of scrapbooking and mini albums. She's really nice, super sweet, and she has amazing tutorials and super adorable and beautiful mini albums that she shares with all of us. So I truly recommend you check out her channel and subscribe. So this is my little flip book. Again, um, I truly hope you guys like it. And I like that it is sort of like accordion style, so it moves freely. And then it closes like this. And then you can see here on the sides how this spine looks. It's like accordion style. And I think this turned out super, super stinking adorable. I hope my friend loves it. And I hope you guys love it too. Thank you so, so much for joining us today for our collab. I hope you're having a super happy Sunday. Welcome to all my new subscribers. And thank you so, so much to all of you, my super sweet crafty friends, for your love and support. And I hope to see you back here soon for another video. Bye-bye. Love you guys. Mwah.